my dear friends welcome to rajeshekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 377 in this lecture we will try to understand rbf kernel or radial basis function kernel in the whole literature of support vector machines the most popular kernel also and very general purpose kernel which works in most of the cases is called rbf kernel let's look at how it works a very very general purpose kernel is called rbf or radial basis function kernel given two data points x1 comma x2 the rbf kernel what is the formula mathematical formula is exp of this one exp of minus of norm x1 minus x2 whole square by 2 sigma square this this is the mathematical formula for rbf kernel if you take the numerator what is the numerator numerator is norm of minus of norm of x1 minus x2 whole square let me say x1 is a point and x2 is also a point this d12 d12 is distance between these two points i can write it as i can write write it as norm of x1 minus x2 is equal to d12 square isn't it this is nothing this what is this uh, nothing but square of the distance between uh, between point x1 and uh, x2 isn't it what is the denominator denominator is e how sigma what is the sigma the sigma is called as hyperparameter isn't it suppose you are using support vector soft margin support vector machine just try to recall we were discussing about soft margin support vector machines in the context of soft margin support vector machines is, uh, just let me write soft margin kernel uh, svm with rbf kernel isn't it so in the in, in the case of soft margin svm in the case of soft margin svm which one is hyperparameter c is c is your hyperparameter c is your hyperparameter whereas in the case of uh, rbf kernel sigma is hyperparameter since you are using rbf kernel since you are using rbf kernel rbf kernel also has sigma as one of its hyperparameter we will see how it behaves let's again let me rewrite the formula what is the formula for for our kernel this is k of x1 x2 is equal to exp of minus d12 square by 2 sigma square isn't it that, that's what it says isn't it d12 is nothing but what is d12 norm of x1 minus x2 is it that's the distance between two points x1 comma x2 just observe this one as distance increases you see as d12 d12 means distance between two points increases as distance increases your kernel value kx1 x2 will decrease this point is important why because this is this is increasing means what e power minus means 1 by you can write this is 1 by uh, d12 d12 square by 2 sigma square as this value is increasing e power value will increase 1 by means it, this value will decrease isn't it as d12 increases kernel function kx1 x2 will decrease this, this is our first observation let me take two points this is x1 is one point x2 is another point x3 is another point what is this what does it mean your k of x1 x2 is greater than k of x1 x3 what is the reason reason is d as d12 is less than d13 distance between first and second point is less than distance between first and third point isn't it they are opposite kernel kernel value for x1 x2 is greater than kernel value in between x1 and x3 as distance is increasing x distance between x1 and x3 is bigger in that case what happens as distance is increasing your kernel value decreases as distance between x1 x3 is bigger than distance between x1 x2 that kernel corresponding to x1 x3 is less than 
kernel x1, x2, isn't it? As distance is small, this kernel value is bigger than, here distance is more, its kernel value is less than this particular kernel value. Because the uh, k x1, x2 is greater than k x1, x3 as d12 less than d13, isn't it? It is simple observation, as distance increases, the kernel value decreases. I can write as as distance as distance increases 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 the kernel value the kernel value the kernel value decreases decreases isn't it it it, it behaves like uh, this kernel this kernel behaves like behaves like similarity behaves like similarity isn't it that anybody can understand this is first observation what is my first observation as distance is increasing and k value decreases my second observation let's try to understand what is second impact of impact of sigma isn't it Let's assume sigma equal to 1, sigma equal to 0 0.1, sigma equal to 10. What happens uh, if, if I change sigma value? If I take sigma equal to 1, how it behaves? If I take sigma equal to 10, how it behaves? Uh, if it is sigma equal to 10, how it behaves? We will try to understand its behavior. Let's look at some plots. Just see, uh, x-axis is nothing but distance. On x-axis, I am taking distance. This is, this is distance, isn't it? My x-axis is this x which which is distance i am taking on x axis what is on x axis distance what is this plot plot this is plot function in google exp of exp of minus x square by 2 sigma square here i am assuming sigma equal to 1 sigma equal to 1 means 2 into 1 square this is 2 into 1 just for this this is the plot for sigma equal to 1 just just you can directly plot in google if i take sigma equal to 1 this is my plot as distance between points increases, as distance between points increases, if distance between points is 0, let me assume distance between points is, points is 0. Let's, let's, let's write case by case. What is my case 1? Let me assume my case 1 is equal to, what is my case 1? Distance is 0. What is distance equal to 0 means what? Distance equal to 0 means what value you will get? Your k value is 1. Distance equal to 0 means what? This is distance equal to 0. On x axis, I am taking distance. If distance equal to 0, what is the similarity value? Just say this is 1. If distance, this is a plot, isn't it? Even if you keep d, d, in this one, if you keep distance equal to 0, what is our uh, uh, formula? Formula says what is RB, RBF, RBF kernel formula? This is formula exp of minus of norm of x1 minus x2 whole square by 2 sigma square. This is distance. Distance 0 means e power 0 is 1. Isn't it? You are, you are getting 1 mathematically. It is geometrically also. You can see if distance is 0, what is this height? What is this value? This is value is 1. That's what it says. If d equal to 0, then k value is 1. Kernel value is 1. That's what this observation says. As distance increases, what is what happens? K is decreasing. Just see as distance is increasing, it gradually this similarity function decreases. As distance increases, either in the positive direction or negative direction. Even just see as distance is increasing in negative direction, this similarity will decrease. In both in in both in both the directions, it falls very very. Just see, is it not falling? Yes, it's the curve falls, isn't it? For example, distance between two points is four. What is your your similarity or kernel value? It's almost zero, isn't it? Let me show this one. Just see this particular. If similarity equal zero, similarity means what? Kernel. If similarity is equal to zero, what does it mean? Similarity equal zero means dissimilarity equal to infinite. Dissimilarity is very large. Similarity and dissimilarity are opposite. Kernel is like similarity function. Is it, is it not? So, kernel is like similarity function. 
kernel is e equal to same. What is the kernel value here? As distance is, is increasing, kernel value is decreasing, isn't it? Just see. Distance is like dissimilarity, kernel is like similarity, isn't it? Just see this curve, for example, if the distance between two points is two units, let me say distance between two points is two units. We still have some similarity, isn't it? You have some similarity function. What happens if distance, if the distance between two points, I am taking distance on x-axis, if distance between two points, what is similar function? After four units, it's zero. Almost it's, it's zero after four units, isn't it? What, what happens? This curve, this curve, what happens? Falling exponentially. This curve is falling, isn't it? Is it not falling exponentially? This particular curve falling is exponentially. I can say this particular curve is similar to, it is just similar to Gaussian curve. We already discussed normal distribution or Gaussian distribution. Kernel is like similarity function. Uh, distance is like dissimilarity function, isn't it? That's what it says. I can say this plot becomes zero after four inches. That's what we discussed. This plot becomes four, zero after four inches. This, this is falling. This is falling exponentially. Just see, this is falling exponentially. This, this looks like, this curve is looks like Gaussian curve or I can say Gaussian PDF. This is just like, looks like Gaussian curve or Gaussian PDF. So RBF, I can say, so RBF is similar to the function RBF, the function itself looks like very much like Gaussian curve or normal PDF. This is what happens for sigma equal to, this is the case for sigma equal to 1. Is it not the case for sigma equal to 1? Hyperparameter of sigma equal to 1. In, 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 in my next lecture, I will discuss about what happens for sigma equal to 0 0.1. I will continue my discussion on RBF kernel in my next lecture also. Just go through this lecture. If you have any difficulty, please keep comment. Just see this one. Just go through this one. Just try to understand basic introduction of RBF kernel. Thank you very much.